Well guys, you might notice, tell, I'm not on the same lake that I've been on for the last couple of weeks. It's basically my last trip before I uh, head off camping in Wales for a week. I thought, well, I nearly went for it. Did one more last night in that swim of mine. I've been fishing and I thought, no, let's just go for it. Head out here, do a session on this lake. I haven't fished it for a while. Has produced a few fish, then died off again. But in general, that's nice to get out and be on here. And uh, thank the missus for uh, letting me do a quick sneaky 24 hours before we uh, disappear on holiday. And uh, I'm all set up over here. Woods are out. Over there, the um, I do quite like this swim. I'm always in a little bit of a dilemma here now. Well, I used to fish it, I catch a lot of fish, I used to catch them in that corner over there. And every single take I ever had, I always ran right and went along that tree line. For some reason, the last few I had went left. Not in that tree, but you can't see it, but behind these things, there's an island. And it used, they used to manage to get charged down and go around the back of that. So, I've stopped fishing that direction now. I'm fishing to the uh, right of me on a plateau. Which I've put a good old uh, mix of uh, catalyst pellets and boilies over the top. Um, I'm actually going to try the 22 mils that I have been trying on the uh, Airfield Lake on here. So, well, why not give it a go? Something different, something that people don't use, something out of the ordinary. You've got to try. You've got to think different. Don't don't follow don't follow the crowds. Try and do the opposite of what the crowds are doing. It actually gives you the edge. Because the fish, you know, if everyone's using 22 mil baits, hook baits. The fish will eventually get used to the idea. If everyone's using small ones, you just do the opposite. Have a go, not just for five or ten minutes, you know, you've got to do it for quite a few months just to see what the difference is. Anyway, we're going to see how we get on here for tonight. Until about 11, 12 o'clock tomorrow, which isn't too bad. The uh, conditions were, well, it was wet, rainy and unbelievable this morning when I was out working. Now, oh, it's so muggy and hot, I wish the rain was back. It's unbelievable, the heat things, the wind direction has changed and just the air temperature has just risen uh, dramatically really but uh, yeah goes from one extreme to the other in this country doesn't it, <laughs> there you go anyway our fox warriors are looking good I do like those rods, I do love the cork handles that sort of reminds me of the old, uh, old school uh, float fishing days when I first started out fishing I do need to do a bit of a review on the uh, landing net, so we'll get back to that. That's uh, working extremely well. Should, should do that, might do some photographs and a little bit of stuff later on today. Right, catch up with you soon. Thank you for watching, and I'll give you a uh, update tomorrow. And uh, hope you'll have some fish and some videos on the bank to show you. See you later now. First one of the trip. Not bad going. Quite happy about that. Nice one. Hopefully there's plenty more where that can come. Quickly do one on the other side. Bingo. There we go. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Love it. Look at that. Gorgeous. Second 20. We're happy about that. Not bad. Worth fishing this lake. I think. Get your water on it. Beautiful baby.
gitu so. Hei. <laughs> right. Let's get it back. Hey, look at that. Not seen a mirror for ages, have I? Hey, <laughs> that's the gorgeous. Me happy. Well guys, the update is a pretty good night really. A couple of twenties and a nineteen. All from out there and a spot roughly uh, on the horizon between the two trees sticking up, which is quite good. Did see fish crashing around a little bit. With a little island around to the side of me. I was talking about I was writing things up. And then you have the threaded tree just there that you have to avoid which is sunken into the water so it's been quite a hairy night trying to get the fish in it's all good fun all in the bank all in the net and um, all on film and all nice load of photographs really so pretty good well that's it really it's more or less time to pack up and head home uh, have a little bit of a break and then uh, come back and uh, start all over again and start heading into um, autumn then winter really can't believe I'm saying that already but this year has uh, took a while to pick up a momentum and then zoom it's just gone straight through we are here there's some leaves passing me by blowing in the wind and falling in the water yesterday which is amazing but there we go anyway I better uh, need a there you go, there's a nice just fish just rolled out there in front of the uh, swim in the car park. Not bad, he'll be happy about that. I don't know, it's exactly where you want it. I must admit, I need to look at a couple of areas to the left of me out there. Not all the way across, but halfway halfway across to see what I can sort of find. It's quite a bit of a, an interesting uh, couple of fish showed out there. So there's got to be some likely sort of spot out there that they, they quite like. Just have to see. Anyway, I shall catch up with you soon. Thanks for watching as usual. Don't forget to subscribe and comment. And, uh, yeah. Happy fishing and um, see you later, folks.